Australia going for eight from eight in one day internationals at the Junction Oval here in Melbourne. The West Indies wanting to finish their tour down under with their first win on Australian soil. Oh, the little bottom edge. She tried to withdraw the bat. It's come off the face. The ball was dying down. And Elisa Healy had the balance to come forward. Enjoys the pull shot, does Hayley Matthews, and gets all of that. She just does not miss out on this length. Just lays back on it, and it's through. Beats the infield. Does it beat the outfield as well? Yes, it does. Lovely timing from Hayley Matthews. Edged, and there it goes through. The vacant slips Corden. Hit on the back leg. This is going to be close, and it's given. Just making sure that everything was in order. And almost, oh, has she claimed it, Annabelle Sutherland? That would be one of the catches of the summer. That's incredible. Ah! Oh, and Alana King removes Campbell. Second ball. A brilliant start. And she's brought the edge that time of Williams, and it's gone through the fingers of Beth Mooney. And now hit on the pad, Henry, and gone. So the Australians are rolling through the West Indies here. And short from Sutherland, that is a gift first up from Elaine. And again, Sutherland striking. Elaine on the pad, she's got two in the over. As Sutherland is driven down the ground by Williams. And that takes the West Indies up over the 50 mark. And Gatchnaby comes down and says, well, I better attack. And this should run away to the boundary. And Williams straight down the ground. It's been a fruitful shot for the West Indies in the last couple of overs. And she picks up four and goes to 17. That time she goes short and Williams gets it in the air and over mid wicket. And that is the beautiful way to dispatch a free hit. So change of ends for Alana King and it has worked a treat. Gajnavi stuck on the crease. King has her second. Nice shaped shot down the ground and through. One of the shots of the day from Cherry Ann Fraser. But in this situation, allows her to be attacking. This has gone straight up. Now, whether it'll go to hands is the question. Backing back, backing back, and that's really nice from King. And anything? Oh, sounded nice. Looks even better. That has gone a mile from nowhere. Fraser brings out the extension shot. Well, where has she been all season? <laughs> Exciting opportunity for her. That's it. Up and over. Nicely timed there from Ramirak. Had gone along the ground on a couple of occasions for dot balls and singles. This time decides to uh, go up and over with success. Touch in. And going over the offside. Wonderful catch by Georgia Wareham and Ramirak's day is ended on nine. And Talia McGrath, she's in the wickets. Touch it. And Fraser goes in the air as she's done throughout her innings. But on that occasion, Annabelle Sutherland was there. And the West Indies are all out for 103. Nice hands, really nice hands there from Phoebe Litchfield. Well, the first boundary was beautiful. That is even better. Smoked through the offside from Elisa Healy. Past Henry's right hand, the stumps, and then poor work. Poor from Connell and Fraser, who got all tangled up and have gifted a boundary to Healy. There's a loose one down leg side, and Elisa Healy capitalises. Draws it in the air, down ground, Connell. Chases this one down and unfortunately drags it over the boundary for a four to Litchfield. Oh, she's absolutely smoked that. 
Oh, bad length, though, from Fraser, but Lisa Healy on fire, wanting to chase down this total as soon as she can. Oh, lovely lofted shot. And that's the bread and butter of Elisa Healy. And that brings up the 50 for Australia. And once again, just a repeat. I've got a, a field out there at deep square, and she may just get around to cut this off, but no. Good effort. And the slow ball. She's hit that straight down the throat. Cherry Ann Fraser, well bowled, Shamila Connell, and well captained. Hayley Matthews. Oh, just gets that offline straight away. And Phoebe Litchfield, thank you very much. Just touches that around the corner. Another four for her. But there's a pull shot and a false shot here. And this will be an easy catch for Zeta James at cover. And the change of bowler in Ali Lane has picked up the wicket. Of Phoebe Litchfield. And there's a shorter ball. And a bad bounce for Shemaine Campbell. It's going to race away. For Beth Mooney's first four. And now here is that trademark Perry pull, and there's a misfield from Fraser. And Elise Perry picks up her second boundary. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, what you said, Rachel Haynes. That has well and truly got away from a Stefani Taylor. Perry does well to get something on it. She will get the boundary, and she will also get the free hit. Up, up, and away from Perry. And in and out. So the free hit, the catch wouldn't have mattered. It was just whether or not she could save the six. And with that shot as well, Elise Perry passes another legend of the game, Rachel Haynes, is the most amount of runs at the Junction Oval in one day internationals. Yeah, very comprehensive victory from Australia today. And, and really all throughout this ODI series, they've been excellent. Bowling group's been absolutely ruthless and then really a very straightforward chase with only 103 on the board from the West Indies. Two experienced players, not out at the end in Perry and Mooney. But really it was the bowlers this series that dominated for Australia. Yeah, they've been brilliant with the ball, the Australians, both the seam bowlers, opening bowlers, or the seamers that have replaced them in the middle order, then also their spinners as well. There's no Darcy Brown with that hamstring tightness after the first ODI and it just gave opportunities to the likes of Alana King who grabbed it with both hands. Magnificent series win. He said at the top of the show, Australia has not lost a bilateral series here on Australian soil since 1987. That was against New Zealand. It is a wonderful winning streak and they continue their winning streak at the Junction Oval as well.